Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Outpost Engineer. I don't know if you just caught it, but the satellite dish just moved. Oh, and I see something I'm going to catch. Oh, look at these little... I'm not going to say it. It's a family channel here. Let's uh, let's take these out fast. Fungal blooms. We just got two that spawned right before our eyes. We'll make use of the mycelium in our new... Uh, our new molecular analyzer that we just placed last episode, but man, these are going to get tiresome, I can tell. We gotta get up that tech tree quick as we can. Uh, did we, is there any more? I don't see them. They're gonna stick around, I think, near the factory. Uh, let's head over this way. I just wanna check our other site here to make sure there's nothing growing. Last time, we had a pretty good, a pretty good sized fungal bloom here that was uh, starting to consume our coal operation. While I'm here, I'll take the opportunity to grab some of this coal. And then this episode, I think what we'll do is route some coal out of here. Let's just take a look and see if we want to route it from here. So here's one option. Let's see how far it is. You can kind of get an idea. There's one of our smelters in the distance or our furnaces. So it's going to take a lot of belts, but we've got the belts automated. In fact, while we're over here, why don't I just scoop up some of those and then keep this thing running. Okay. My inventory is now full, but we're going to unload some of this coal right now. So that's one option, bringing coal from that direction. Let's go see real quick. Oh, let's uh, drop some coal off in here. I know this is pathetic, but we're going to get to it. We're going to route coal one way or another. The other option we have for routing coal is from this direction. And I thought there was a deposit. Feels like this direction is going to be a little bit further away. Doesn't it? I think it is. But I thought there was some coal around here somewhere. Let's, uh, let's see if we can spot it. Could just be my weak memory. But I thought... <laughs> I thought... We had a coal deposit over here. Here it is. I think this is too far, right? We can kind of see the uh, satellite dish. This feels like it might be too far for our purposes. So we've got a bunch of belts. Let's get coal over here. And let's think about how we want to revamp all of the copper production here. So we've got kind of a rudimentary, we've got some wire or copper cable being produced. You can see a big gap in the line. That's where we ran out of coal, but we want to change this up a bit. This is kind of temporary. It got us started. Um, but I think we can do a lot better. In fact, I think what we might do is put like uh, maybe a couple rows or maybe a, maybe a row of mining drills, like two or three mining drills and then a belt running next to it and they can kind of fill up that belt. I don't know if we get upgraded mining drills. I know we're going to get upgraded belts. So a belt, a slow belt that initially gets saturated, once we upgrade it, it may be able to handle more mining drills. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'll just explain, I'll just uh, drop down some examples here. Of what I'm thinking of doing is is literally, yeah, popping down some belts. I guess maybe the first line could come this way. Whoops, one more over even. Not giving very good examples here in my... Let's pull this up. And again, we're going to reconfigure kind of a lot of stuff going on here. But we can see right here that we've got a line of ore here where we can line up mining drills. And I'm thinking, why don't we have these guys um, feed a belt instead of feeding directly into this furnace? Because this is going to kind of crowd us a little bit, get a little bit crowded. Let's get the ore away from the mine, and then we can set up processing a little bit further away from the deposit. So let's, let me get the pickaxe out here and clear out a little room for a belt. 
In fact, we should probably clear out this and see about starting to use our stone or our concrete blocks to make this look a little nicer. Let me take out some of this stuff. And again, terraforming is takes some uh, getting used to for sure. And I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm not totally used to it. But what I was thinking, let's see if I can do a control. So I'm holding down control. There, I got some bunch built all at once. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing is getting putting mining drills along this way to fill up a belt. And then we'll have to figure out how to do the power. Show you what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking it would be this way. Actually, this one is backwards. Let's take it up. Whoops. Grab the wrong one. It's all right. Easy enough to place. And then this is what I'm thinking becomes our new belt of copper ore. And it can be fed by um, multiple mining drills. Let's, uh, let's grab, and I'm just kind of roughing this in right now so we know, or we have an idea of where we want to route the coal. The main objective, I think, for this episode is going to be to start routing our coal. That's the idea. That gets us maybe a full belt of copper to work with. Let's pull this stuff up for now. I'll do it from down here, maybe. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to feed back into that line, so we'll leave that. Let's grab belts, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. Ooh, I kind of want to dig this out. Maybe I could do some of this digging between episodes in the future, but for now, I'm going to do it on camera because I did not think to do this before because I'm just kind of thinking this through right now, how we want to lay this out. But I think if we go with the um, concrete blocks, for one thing, I think it's going to look a lot better. Boom, boom, boom. It'll look cool. It'll look more like it's uh, an actual factory. And the whole premise of the game, if you remember the very first episode where we had that little contract with the mining company, our goal as the outpost engineer is to set up some production and then eventually uh, set up a portal back to Earth so they can bring colonists over. If I'm not mistaken, hopefully I don't have that wrong or I didn't get the, <laughs> didn't get the story wrong have to review the uh, first episode to be sure. All right, I'm holding down the control key and the primary click, my left click for me, and it's dropping all this concrete down super fast. So that is awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm getting used. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable. Not, I'm not 100% there yet, I'll be honest. But that's not bad, right? We've got a nice foundation here. We are chewing up blocks, but we've uh, concrete blocks, but we've got them automated. I still have two, almost 300 in my inventory. So yeah, so here comes our copper, or at least our first line of copper. Let's get it a little bit away from the deposit. And now we can think about for this first line, what do we want to do with it? So maybe if we want to get the... Uh, the copper coil going again, we need to think about a couple things. Where do we put the furnace in our um, constructor? But even more so, how do we want to route the coal into that thing? Right? So the first step is feeding the ore into the furnace. We could do that... Let's see, do I have a furnace? I don't think I do. I may grab one. I think we're going to still... Yeah, I'm going to let that thing run. I'm going to go grab another furnace. I'm going to keep our temporary one there. 
Let's craft another one. It only takes 10 stone. And eventually we can throw down a copper box and uh, store off some of the junk if we get uh, some throwaway equipment. Eventually we won't need furnaces anymore. And while I'm at it, let's grab and um, let's craft up one of the assemblers or the constructors, I should say. Let's do that. Boom. That way we can keep the existing line running while we build this new line. All right. Constructor, we've got everything we need. Boom. How are we doing on bronze gears? I'm going to grab another 10 of those while I'm thinking about it. We have bronze in here. A little bit. <clears throat> All right, so let's think about this. In fact, I may even, can I put down blocks here? Concrete blocks? Try and do this as we go and keep it looking cool. If I can, if I can manage it, I'll do it. Uh, let's see, maybe, looks like that's going to work. And maybe off camera I can fill in, you know, I can, if we want to have the um, foundations underneath all of this, maybe I can replace these off camera. Grab that guy back. Okay, so what I was thinking, let's grab the machinery here. That's our constructor. Now it has a belt, right? So in this case, Let's make use of the belt that saves us an inserter. And all this guy needs is ingots, I believe, right? So th that comes in our furnace. Let's do that. And then pop down an inserter if we can here. Just gonna grab the ingots out. And then I'm gonna carve out a little more ground here I'm not sure if I'm taking up some of the concrete I just placed, but let's uh, spend a little time doing this again for the purpose of having it look kind of a little bit more cool. Still learning the most efficient way to do it. And let's uh, plop these down. I wonder if I can get in here. Boom, boom. Boom. All right. And I want an inserter to put coal in on this side. So let's get, oh, I'm out of inserters already. Yeah, that's another thing we're going to want to automate. Let's make some more. We know we're going to need them. Keep an eye out for fungus. I don't see any. I don't see any. Eventually we will build turrets and a defense against them, but for now we're kind of having to do it by, do it ad hoc, do it by hand. Oh, copper bars. We're now short on copper bars. Is this guy accumulating any? Looks like maybe it is. Uh, nope. No, it's not. Shoot, we need copper bars. Well, we're going to solve that problem as we uh, as we work on this line this episode, and probably it may, might take a couple episodes, a few episodes, to get this fully going. All right, for now, I'm going to go ahead and drop a copper box, and eventually this is where the coal is going to come in. So let's pop some coal in there. That'll just get this going. We need to change the direction on our inserter to pull coal from there. All right. But now we just need to get this ore up into this guy. So what we could do, we could come up this direction and then insert it from here. Why don't we do that? There might be a slightly more efficient way to do it, but this isn't bad. And let's go one more row with the stone blocks. And I think 
Uh, I think this is going to work and look fairly cool. So let's grab belts here and this direction. And then let's see if it lets me do one down. Looks like that. And then I think it's just a horizontal here like that. And one right there. We now have a slightly better looking. Oh no, that one's backwards. Oops, wrong one. There we go. So let me finish my sentence now that it actually is true, hopefully true. Got a slightly better looking line for the copper cable. Now we need to get the coal over here. I'm going to let this one run too, just because I think it's going to get us uh, the ingots. It's going to fill up our cable too. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, we got to power this up. We're going to power up our machine. Let's drop another power pole. We're going to be using a lot of these. And there's just no way around it. As far as I know, there's no way around it. That's our main network. So let's pop one here. I'll have to come up with a way to, or a system for doing this to make sure that we never run out of connections. What else? What else? What else? Coal. Does this guy need a recipe? Copper bars. He's not getting the copper. How come? Oh, backwards uh, inserter. Boom. And again, yeah, we're going to need to think about automating inserters at some point. All right, there it goes. Two. Let's see if it, the inserter can keep up. Yeah, you know what? The inserter itself can't quite keep up to maximize production right now. There's a gap. Why don't we drop down another inserter? It may be overkill, but we can keep things moving a little bit faster. I think if we go with two inserters, that'll keep this furnace going 24 seven. It may give us the opportunity to grab some copper bars. Like for example, the, uh, Ooh, we got to set a recipe on this guy. That's why it's backing up. All right. There go the cables. We've got a nice big gap here, but, uh, we should be cooking now. Yeah. So now these two inserters with the saturated belt are going to keep this furnace running 24 seven. Eventually we'll get to upgrade. Oops, sorry for shaking the screen. Eventually we'll get to upgrade to, I think, electric furnaces. That's not bad. That is not bad. And then we've got our kind of our old setup here. We can, let's take this up. Let's take up this and this guy. I don't know if I can get that little floating piece. This we no longer need. I'm going to leave this container here. I don't really want to fill up my inventory with those just yet. And then this one will let this burn out, but I'm going to use this to kind of steal some copper bars because we're still going to need to do a little bit of hand crafting. And then eventually we'll rip up this inserter and we'll take all this up. Cool. Now we want to replace this crate with an actual supply of coal. And I think we researched the splitters cause we're going to, we're going to need them. And I think we said, we're going to pull the coal from way out here. Oh man, it is far, but I don't know a better way to do it. Yeah. I just don't know a better way to do it. Um, Let's do a little bit of terraforming here. Let's take out, let's move this mountain back a little bit. 
So I'm not sure how we want to do it. There's a couple things we can do over here on this coal deposit. One is we want to get a belt of coal going out to our, you know, our main factory over by headquarters where we just came from. The other thing we might want to do is set up a mining drill and have some coal fed into a molecular analyzer and then just throw a copper box down to collect the data cubes. And then periodically we can come by and scoop them up um, and go take them back to the uh, satellite array. So that's another thing we could be doing here. Let's, uh, I'm just trying to terraform. I was thinking about putting some concrete blocks here. I'm getting some coal as I do this, which is fine, but I'm just trying to get the ground where it's level so I can start throwing down concrete blocks and get a flat platform down. All of this stuff, the stuff I'm collecting now, the sand can be fed into a molecular analyzer as well. I don't know if you can put a mining drill on the sand though. Uh, I guess we could try that at some point. All right, let's grab the concrete and see if we can't clean this up a bit. That's a little higher than I want. Let's uh, take that down. Boom, boom. 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 All right. Let's do these one at a time just to make sure I get the right, kind of the right height. That's the level I want to be on. Right. So we do have some, a little bit more sand to take out here. Let's get out the pick. And see if we can get some of the sand up here and replace it with the concrete block because it looks a little better. Looks more like a real factory setup. Yeah, I mean, we could feed this sand into molecular analyzer, but I kind of want to have a... Uh, know that I'm going to have kind of a continuous supply of material before I attach a molecular analyzer to it. The only possible exception that we've already done is that mycelium, that fungal mold stuff. I know we're going to be chipping away at that a bunch. So for that one, I'm okay actually having a molecular analyzer set up dedicated for that because I know we're going to be doing more. The sand, I don't know. If we can mine it with a uh, mining drill and get an automated supply but I'm all for feeding that into a molecular analyzer. So we may try that later. I just don't know if that is the case or not, if we can automate the, uh, the harvesting of the sand or not. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, we've got a little platform here. Do I have mining drills? Probably not. All right, let's go get mining drills. I don't think we need to harvest coal. I'm going to let that stay there. I am going to grab some more of these. And this is kind of a slower process. We could probably speed this up with another mining drill, feeding this uh, constructor, but it's probably fine. We'll, we'll just let it go until we really come up short. Then we can scale that up. All right. I need to get uh, a couple, probably at least a couple mining drills. Three would be nice. Here's our belts. How are we doing on belts? I'm not going to grab any. I think we've got plenty. Whoops. I don't want that. Uh, just kind of misclicked here. I do want to look in here. Now this guy needs coal. Maybe I should have harvested coal. Oh, well. Here's our crafting table. We need mining drills and we need conveyors. One, two, three, not conveyors, uh, inserters. One, two, three, four. Now we're out of copper bars. How are we doing in copper? Has this backed up yet? Can we get some copper out of this thing? There's 31. We'll take it. So I can see that working. Now, we doubled up the amount of ore going into our smelter. We still have an unsaturated belt here. So that's probably this guy, the constructor now. Let's see what's in here. 
Yeah. So he's got plenty of ore. So he's going to be running 24-7. And it's just this guy can't keep up. Well, I can't say that. It's uh, The furnace itself is just slow. So we could put another furnace in if we wanted to scale this up. But I think, I think this may be okay for now. We can do another line later. Maybe we'll do another line of cables to feed into a molecular analyzer. But for now, we'll leave that the way it is. And the next thing we need to do is get that coal out here. Let's see, we made three mining drills. I've got tons of belts. Let's do it. Now the question is, do we want to put concrete blocks under the belts? It's going to take forever. I don't think we're going to do that. Let's pop this guy down. I guess we could keep a copper box here. We don't have to. We could just have a belt of coal coming through. Maybe that's better. Let's uh, Let's just do the belt for now. Show you what I'm thinking. We'll let that guy use the copper that's uh, use the uh, coal that's in there, but we're gonna run belts or inserters. Belts. All right. Let's see how far back I can go and hit control. Boom. And control. Nice. We know we got a long ways to go. We may need to come uphill here. We'll see if this guy is going to... Yeah, it looks like... Uh, it's just a little bit of a hill. Why don't we just carve that out? See how it looks. Maybe it won't look so great, but we'll do it anyway. There's not that much of a hill. I don't want to have conveyors going up and down too much like crazy. Let's see if that works for us. Boom. I think that is... Nope, I got to rotate it. Oh, no, that's right. That's the correct way. Sorry. Control. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Yeah, I'm just... When I say control, I'm just holding down the control key. Looks like we might have to do a little bit more carving and then work our way way back there. Keeping my eye out for fungal mold. I don't see any. Let's go get our pick. Take this down a little bit. Yeah, so either between episodes or never. <laughs> I can uh, make this look a little better. For now, I just want to get the belt in place and get that coal routed. And it's one less thing we're going to have to do by hand. That's kind of how these factory games go, at least for me. Set up some initial stuff just to get the building materials going. And then once I've got those automated, it's all about uh, setting things up so I don't have to do it by hand anymore. Okay, looks like we've got a little bit too much mined out here. I'm going to have to put down some blocks. Boom, boom. And again, maybe I can make this look a little better later. Maybe not. We'll find out as time goes on. For now, we're going to focus on the task at hand, and that's getting a nice long copper belt, or a coal belt going here. Now, we could head up a little bit and hug the land, but let's just, I think we're okay with what we got. Let's see. Will this levitate if I... Nice. Look at that. Kind of nice. Actually, I'm not super crazy about it, to tell you the truth. Maybe we'll take some of these up. Where are we going to branch here? Let's see. Uh, when I mean branch, I'm like, when are we going to start heading in that direction? We're going to have to do a little bit of a seesaw here, or a little bit of a back and forth. Let's plop down some here. We know we're going to have to do this. Okay, let's, we're going to take up some of these floating ones and then maybe let's take these up, just right click and hold it. 
We'll join these up somewhere over here. I think we got to go maybe there. Let's see if it does it. That one is a downward. And if I click on the other, when you look at the toolbar, the hop bar, I've got the one selected that's the up sloped. Kind of goes up to the right, it looks like. And I don't have any in inventory, but as soon as I select it, it's going to craft one for me automatically. So just keep that in mind. You don't need to craft those in advance as long as you have the regular conveyor belts on hand. So I think we're going in the right direction. Everybody's heading in the right direction. This is all good. I still have a ton of conveyors on me. Now I might have to come down here. Let's grab the downward sloping one. And then see if I can hook up the regulars. I've got it selected. That's kind of strange, huh? Doesn't want... Boy, that's interesting terrain because it makes me want to go down. Let's see. These guys want to be at this level. So maybe it's just a matter of filling in that block. Let's do that. We'll grab that. Let's see if it will place. No, it doesn't want to. So we'll just fill in that block down there. Boom. And that should do it for us. Fill that one in too, just for looks. Boom. And boom. Nice. Let's come a little bit more in this direction. I know we're going to get those... Um, now we're going to get that fungus. There it is right there. Shoot. Let's go get it. Let's go get it quick. I knew it. I called it. Although I keep saying it. So, all right. We got a couple blooms to deal with here. Uh, what am I getting? Am I not getting the plant? Okay. Yeah, here we go. Boom. We got it. Now we got to get, there's another one over here somewhere. Where is the flower? Because that we should probably go after first. There it is. Let's take this guy out. It's more uh, material to feed our molecular analyzer. I guess that's the bright side. But it is a little tedious taking this stuff out. So we are going to feel pretty good once we have defenses for this stuff. But yeah, right now we're trying to get coal over to kind of the main factory site and at least get an initial belt of coal kind of almost circling the island or at least circling the part where we're doing our building. I got to be careful when I'm taking these blocks out that I'm not taking on stuff out that I don't intend to. I think we're okay. I don't think the machines will come up. That's all fine. That's not the stuff. We got some more over here. Yeah, I don't think I can pickaxe away our torch, you know what I mean? But if I do primary click it, it wants to bring me into a menu. So that's a little, you know, a little bit of a quirk you got to keep in mind. All right, we're getting all this junk off of here. Okay, see how I click? And I get the uh, power pull dialog. Let's see if I can get this last piece. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Did I get it all? There's one little nugget here. We'll take that out, take it with us. Uh, no harm done. I think everything is still functional. Let's collect that coal. Remember last time I didn't do it? Um, and we saw we have some, we do have need here because I don't have the coal routed yet. All right, we got one of them. Let's, let's see. Do we want to go fill? Let's go fill that molecular analyzer. I know it's a bit of a detour here, but we'll keep an eye out for more fungal blooms here. Try and kill two birds with one stone. It looks clear over here. I think we're good. Let's pop some more of that junk in here. Boom. We'll get a few data cubes out of that. While we're here, let's take a look at the our place. Status, no power. Oh, man. So we're starting to tax the power. So we're going to need to go build another generator. It looks like it fired up, but we are... We're not doing so great on power. In fact... I don't want to chance it. You know, I don't want to chance something going wrong with the power flickering. So we'll, we'll fix the power situation. Let's get to that next episode because we're already out of time. Time flies. We took out another fungal bloom and we reworked our copper cable line. That's all working. I think it's fine. I think this is enough throughput for now. And it's just a little bit cleaner. And then eventually we're going to take this line out 
and basically run maybe a belt here and do something similar or a belt here rather. Maybe we'll back to back mining drills and then we'll have another set of inserters and then we'll have a belt taking some more copper out into another production line. Not sure what we'll make with that. The next one. Um, but we'll think about it. We know we need to feed molecular analyzers too. So at some point we may want a, a line of copper cable just feeding a molecular analyzer. So that's something we got to consider too. But for now, this is GliderCat signing off saying, I hope you enjoy this content. It's Outpost Engineer. I love this game. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are enjoying the content. If you have any comments or suggestions, please go ahead and share them. In the comments below, I read every one. And if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps my tiny channel grow and get the word out about the channel and about the awesome games like Outpost Engineer. And for now, Scottercat saying thanks so much again, and I'll see you in the next episode.